my honey could not let me on his bank account because then I would spend money without holding myself responsible to make sure that I would. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kedema and on my channel, I share with you all my cash envelope stuffings, my sinking funds, my debt progress, and what I am doing to build generational wealth. Since starting my channel, I have paid off my credit card, I've paid off my husband's credit card, I have secured our $5,000 emergency fund, I've paid off my son's truck, and I was able to save $4,000 for my children which would be a thousand dollars per child because i have four boys none of that would have been possible had i not started budgeting and cash envelope stuffing in today's video we're going to close out the month of july and then i will let you guys know the winners from the giveaway that i closed out on july 23rd if you want to see how i close out my monthly budget and if you want to find out who won the giveaway and if you won the giveaway then just keep watching this is my monthly budget this is my debt tracker here is what i do with my cash spending here's what i do with my sinking funds and this is what i do with debt snowball for the month of july this was one pay period my second pay period and then we had an additional third pay period because july was a magic month for us all that means is that we get an extra payday within that month that doesn't always happen but it did this time so for the month of july i had estimated five thousand eight hundred and sixty five dollars worth of income to find out what we actually brought in we will come over here actually Go ahead and this is my cash and my sinking funds page. I don't need this quite yet, so I'm going to use this little bookmark to keep them together so I could just flip very easy. Here we go. So for budget one, we did $3,111.65. For budget two, we did $3,399.53. over here for budget three we did one thousand five hundred and one dollars that brought us in eight thousand twelve dollars and eighteen cents so let's go ahead and put that in here and then we're going to subtract our estimated which was five thousand eight hundred and sixty five dollars that means that we were two thousand $147.18 over budget. Now for our fixed expenses, right? To find out what all this added up to, I could either add it up all right here or I can come back to these sheets and then add them up from here. So here we did $2,472.65. This one we did $2,669.53. Over here, we did not put anything towards our bills or expenses because we took care of all that with these two pay periods. So this, I'm going to go ahead and write it here. Now for cash spending, I had budgeted out $530. We know. That did not happen because we actually made more money so that's when I come to these sheets so for budget one we did 295 budget two we did 320 budget three we did 240 which gave me a total of 855 now let's find out what we did for sinking funds and debt snowball i had budget out 586 dollars let's find out what we did here so for budget one i did 151 budget two we did 215 budget three we did 840 that was 1206 dollars for sinking funds this is july's debt snowball 
which means this will be applied to August smallest debt. We put 193 from budget one, 195 from budget two, and then 421 from budget three, which gave us $809, right? So now we're gonna combine these two, 809 plus 1,206. So we put $2,015 into that category. It's really hard to write with these rings in the center. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go ahead and use this setup next year. As a matter of fact, I know I'm gonna switch it out because I don't know. It just, it's kind of inconvenient to deal with this all the time. The dead snowball that we collected for July is going to be used in August and that totaled out to, we said 809. I like to just track that here so that when my honey asks me, babe, what do we put towards debt snowball? It's right there. Let's look at my savings from last month. I still have $5,000 because I didn't add anything this month. So I'll go ahead and just track that there. Down here is where we will go ahead and track all of this and we should come down to a zero based budget only because I know that I budget out each pay period to zero based. If it doesn't turn out to a zero based then that means that I messed up somewhere. Sometimes it doesn't turn out to zero for me and I have to find my mistake but let's go ahead and do this here. So income was... $8,012.18 minus our fixed and miscellaneous expenses of Minus our cash spending this is my cash spending envelopes minus our sinking oops and debt snowball And that gives us a zero based budget for the entire month. Sometimes when I'm filming and I'm doing this, it doesn't match up or it doesn't add up and I'm off and I got to figure out what happened. That's when it can get frustrating and that's when it can get discouraging. But I am here to tell you that if you are new to budgeting and cash stuffing then the only thing you can do is just keep moving right along take a breather step back come back to it and then just walk yourself through it step by step and it will pan out trust me now let's come to our debt i know that for my honey's truck his minimum payment is Two thousand, two thousand. Oh my gosh, no, two hundred fifty-four dollars and eight cents. We paid an additional two hundred thirty-seven dollars and ninety-two cents. Ninety-two dollars of this is from June's debt snowball. Our family car. The minimum for this one is $785.60. The additional that we put towards here was $59.60. Let's go ahead and add these up. And my ending balance for my honey's truck is $20,000. Five hundred eighty-two dollars and seventy-nine cents. The family car we still owe thirty-two thousand 
$890 and 57 cents. It's 20. You guys, my boys are swimming and my window is facing outside, like right where they're swimming. So they are loud. So now we have an ending balance of debt worth of $53. <sighs> I'm joking. $53,473.66. Go ahead and put that here. We're going to take our starting balance of $54,606.61. We're going to minus our new balance of $53,473.66. That means that for the month of July, I need a sticker for this. Okay, so this is what it looks like as far as our debt. We are leaving july in walking into august with fifty three thousand four hundred and seventy three dollars and sixty six cents worth of debt and that's exciting because there was a point where i was over a hundred k in debt so there we go you guys if you made it towards the end of this video i want to thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me today i really appreciate it when you guys comment when you watch my videos when you share my videos it really does make a difference on my channel and now my dogs are barking okay i think they're done barking anywho what i was saying was i just really appreciate you guys and it means a lot that you guys keep up with me and check in on me and hold me accountable if i can do the same for you let me know if you are starting out your own journey also let me know in the comments below i will check out your channel and i will support you as well now i am going to finish drinking my coffee i'm gonna go outside and i'm gonna spend some time with my kids and then i am going to get started on that garage you guys hold me accountable for that. Anyways, talk to you later. Bye. God bless you.